Brewers playing host to the Reds, as well as co-NL Player of the Week, Homer Bailey, who tossed a no-hitter in his last start back on July the 2nd. Bailey has a 1-0 lead in the first inning, but the second batter he faces is Gene Segura, and the NL hits leader singles into right field, dashing any hopes of back-to-back no-nos. Two batters later, Jonathan Lucroy steps in. And the pitch to Lucroy, it's a deep left, get up! The Brewers have the lead. Bob Euchre provides the call on WTMJ. It's 2-1 Milwaukee. Luke Roy has homered in three straight. Bottom three now. It's a 3-1 Brewers lead. And Ricky Weeks delivers a two-out double off of Bailey to score Juan Francisco. The Brewers extend their lead to 4-1. Bailey allows the season high 10 hits in this ballgame. Top four, Kyle Loesch on the mound for the Brewers, and he'll come up and in on Chris Heisey. The Reds' left fielder takes a spill, and he takes exception. On the next pitch, Heisey gets revenge in the best possible way. He hits a solo home run to left field, and that cuts the Brewers' lead down to 4-2. In the seventh inning, John Axford's on the mound for Milwaukee. The Reds already have a run in the inning to make it 4-3, but with two on and two out, Axford strikes out Joey Votto swinging to end the threat and preserve the Milwaukee lead. Top of the eighth, Jim Henderson pitching for Milwaukee. He's dealing to Brandon Phillips. Phillips, it's a hot smash to the right side, but Sean Halton lays out, and he'll take it himself at first base for the out. Even Phillips has to acknowledge the great play from Halton. Bottom eight, Milwaukee has two on and one out for Norichika Aoki. He'll fly one to right against J.J. Hoover. Logan Schaefer tags up. He's coming home. Joey Votto cuts the ball off, but Schaefer stops dead in his tracks. Votto chases him back towards third. Todd Frazier comes home with it eventually, and Devin Mezzarocco applies the tag. Logan Schaefer is out on the 9-3-5-2 double play, and the Brewers come up empty in the eighth. Top nine, Joey Votto is the last hope for the Reds. He's up with one on and two down against Brewers closer Francisco Rodriguez. Swing and a fly ball, hit to center and deep. Gomez at the wall and leaps. Hey, he's got it! And this game is over. Carlos Gomez up over the top of the wall again on another leaping grab on a ball was out of the ballpark. Bob Euchre provides the call on WTMJ one more time. The great catch from Gomez saves the day, and the Brewers beat the Reds 4-3. The Brewers continue to have their way with Homer Bailey. The right-hander is just 1-7 with a 6.03 ERA and 13 career starts against his division rivals. Meanwhile, the Brewers activate Ryan Braun from the 15-day DL. He'd been out with a hand injury, but Aramis Ramirez is back on the DL. He has a sprained left knee.